What is up guys, it is WeMessy11 and today I have the next week's Team of the Week predictions. So these are just my opinion. Feel free to leave in the comments below your own opinion. If you disagree, if you feel that there's a player that should be in that I've missed out, just let me know down below. So we're going to start off in the nets with Mandanda who played amazing in Marseille's nil-nil draw against Lille. Fully deserved of an inform, made some good saves, as I did manage to watch a bit of the match last night, I think it was, yeah. So, on to the next centre-back. The first centre-back, actually. We have Douglas, who got a goal in FC 20's 3-1 win. He could get an inform... There, there's probably some more better informed centre backs, but you know, I I choose this guy because it, it is a good chance he could get an inform. On to the next centre back, we have Jerome Boateng, who got one goal, one assist, and a clean sheet in Bayern's four nil win versus Nuremberg. I believe his goal was pretty good as well. So on to the next and the final player in the defence we have Olav who got a goal and a clean sheet in New York Red Bulls 2-0 win versus DC United I believe their season's only starting up so he's been playing well for them I think he's like that was his fourth goal of the season already on to the first of the midfield we have Jakuba Blazikowski this will be his third in form card and he will he looks absolutely amazing if he gets this card. He got three, uh, one goal and three assists in their 6-1 away win at Garonfier, I think it was, yep. Um, let me just check. Yep. Uh, so, fully deserving of an inform. He's not the only Dortmund player in this team. On the centre mid, we have Michael Carrick, who played... Very, very well defensively against Stoke with Rooney in the midfield. And he also got a goal. So, if he's not going to get an inform this time, he will definitely be in team of the season for the Premier League. And the next, uh, the, along beside him, I think it'll be Arturo Vidal, who got two goals in Juve's 2-0 win at Lazio. Very good result, as Lazio have been playing well recently. Just got knocked out of the Europa League, but they've been playing well this season, so that was a good result for Juve. On to the next. And we have Christian Teo, who got two goals, two well-taken goals, in fact, in Barca's 3-0 win away at Zal Zaragoza. Um, I could have went for, I think I actually go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the only Barcelona player in this team. So... Now, Stefan Sessegnon, just, De Canio's revival helps Sunderland so much as they managed to beat Newcastle for the first time in uh, 10 years, I think it is, at in the time we are Derby, or it's something like that. He got one goal and one assist in their 3-0 win. Josie Altidore, who got... Three goals in nine minutes in AZ Alkmaar's spanking of FC Udre. It'd be a third in form, and this guy's going to be a fucking tank. Brilliant player, looking forward to his in form. And the final player, singing. He He's going to be so, so, so good if he gets an in form. But he will go for so, so much. It's Muriel who got a brace in Udinese's 3-0 win at Parma. On to the bench, we have Alex McCarthy, who got, who played pretty well against Liverpool, made some very, very good saves to keep Liverpool out, and he also kept a clean sheet. Um, on to the next one, we have George Cookie, and I think he got two or three assists in... Atletico Madrid's 5-0 win versus Granada. Played very well. I watched the match. His passing was good. He was pretty pretty good for Atletico Madrid. 
be good for the future. I think he's quite young as well. On to the first of the goals on the bench. We have Iki Gundogan, who got two goals in that same match that uh, Blazikowski got three goals and one assist. No, one, one goal, three assists. And on to the next player, we have Thiago Alcantara, who got one goal and two assists in Barcelona's 3-0 battering. Well, it wasn't really a battering, but they, he played very well. Deserves an inform because he has been playing well. Recent for Barcelona with Xavi in the middle. Next player, we have Jeremy Adiadier. This guy who's long awaited in form. Who got two goals and an assist for FC Lorient in their 4-1 win versus Bastia. This guy's been scoring goals. He's been pretty good in the for FC Lorient. Good overlooked sometimes for an informed card. But hopefully this will be his week. As you see here, I've got two blank spaces on the bench. Um, my internet fucked up and I lost the team. But... The first one of them was G from Uzberg. He played centre mid. He got two goals in their 2-0 win versus Frankfurt. Who aren't playing very well at the minute. And the last of the, the informs was Benson. Who got two goals in their 2-0 win versus ben Venlo. He's bronze card. Be a nice bronze inform in the Eredivisie. So look. As you see, there's the team, Mandanda in net, Saturo in the midfield, and uh, uh, out the door up front. So, hope you enjoyed this week's Team of the Week predictions. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed, and bye.